Standing water, whether it's a lake or pond or reservoir, needs to be refilled through the water cycle. Water can also get sidetracked from its trip to the sea when it soaks into the ground. If it remains in the topsoil, the water can evaporate or it can be used by plants. Does the water that soaks into the ground ever go deeper than the topsoil? All the time. In fact, the water that soaks deep in the ground, called groundwater, is one of the Earth's most important natural resources. The groundwater will soak downward until it reaches a layer of solid rock or clay through which it can't pass. There it will build up or flow sideways if it can. When people drill wells, they're tapping into this underground reservoir, and the highest point at which it is reached is called the water table. The amount of groundwater and the depth of the water table depends on the layers of rock and soil, the amount of precipitation, and the amount of water being pumped out of the ground by people. It is estimated that as much as one-fourth of the fresh water used by people is taken from the ground. The problem is that this water may be taken out of the ground faster than precipitation can replace it. If this occurs, the water table will gradually sink and there will be no usable groundwater available to be pumped out of wells. In some places, the arrangement of the layers of rock and soil underground is such that the groundwater bubbles up on its own through springs. And sometimes, deep groundwater comes in contact with molten rock. This heated water can bubble up as hot springs or spray out through geysers. Sometimes, even when it is not heated, groundwater is under pressure. When a well is drilled into the water table in such a spot, the water will actually spurt out of the well. 